Streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now, this weekend. Good evening and thanks for joining us at 530. I'm Michael Germain. Israel's prime minister is pushing back against growing international criticism of the military offensive in Gaza. On Saturday, leaders at an Arab Islamic summit called for a ceasefire and rejected Israel's claim that its actions are self-defense. Bradley Blackburn has the latest on the conflict and the deteriorating conditions in Gaza's hospitals. Israel's bombardment of Gaza continues. The Israeli military says this footage shows tanks targeting Hamas terrorist infrastructure. On Saturday, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the fight to defeat Hamas will continue with full force, despite international fears for the toll on civilians. The World Health Organization says more than half of Gaza's hospitals are no longer functioning. At this facility, medical teams used flashlights while treating a patient. Many places have no power and dwindling water and medical supplies. The situation are disastrous. A human community should move. Israel says in the last two days, more than 100,000 Palestinians have fled south through evacuation corridors after Israel agreed to a daily humanitarian pause in fighting. We all left our homes behind us, this woman said. We left like this. At a summit of Arab and Islamic nations Saturday in Saudi Arabia, leaders demanded a ceasefire. France's president is now calling for one, too. This babies, this ladies, this old people are bombed and killed. So there is no reason for that. This weekend, there were large protests in London, Sydney, and Spain, even outside President Biden's Delaware home, supporting Palestinians, while in Israel, thousands gathered in Tel Aviv to demand release of 240 hostages still held by Hamas. Israel says there will be no ceasefire until they are returned. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. The Israeli military says it is working with officials at Gaza's largest hospital to help evacuate babies in the pediatric department to a safer location. Palestinian officials say two babies died in the ICU yesterday after power went out and dozens more were at risk. A good Sunday evening to you. Boy, uh, as promised, a mild day across the region. Plenty of sunshine, high temperatures generally between about 57 and 62 degrees across the viewing area. In fact, I can update that 61 at the La Crosse Airport to a 62, 57 in Eau Claire, 59 today in Winona, 60 in Black River Falls, and 62 in Boscobel and Prairie du Chien. So just a few high clouds from time to time. You can see a few of those this morning and a few more this afternoon, but uh, boy, overall a beautiful uh, mid-November day with lots of sunshine and those mild temperatures. Look at the beautiful afterglow as we look through City Cam 8 at this uh, well, 5.33 hour to be exact. <laughs> We've got clear skies right now as those clouds continue to push off to the east and notice all of the uh, lack of cloud cover out to the west here. So we're going to be clear tonight and uh, mainly sunny for our Monday. Temperatures still in the 50s, 57 in La Crosse, 55 in Black River Falls, 54 in Eau Claire, and 52 in Viroqua. Clear tonight, chilly, but above average. We should be around 31. We're going to only drop to about 38 here in La Crosse, and the uh, wind's not quite as strong as they've been with lows, again, about 38 degrees. Uh, the mild weather looks to stick around. I'll have the details coming up. Thanks, Bill. Yesterday, millions across the U.S. celebrated Veterans Day and a national initiative is being used today to raise awareness for veteran mental health. Today is being celebrated as National Warrior Call Day. It's a call to action for the public to reach out to service members to remind them they are not alone. To take part, all you need to do is call an active duty service member or a veteran. Ask them how they're doing and remind them you care. And if needed, point them to available resources like the 988 Lifeline. Back in June, Wisconsin Representative Derek Van Orden introduced legislation to make today National Warrior Call Day.